Yes. Hi, I'm Kippy. Welcome to my home and my channel. I'm glad y'all stopped by today. I'm doing a collaboration with some other fantastic crafting YouTubers, and I will link to their sites below. So make sure you stop by everybody and get plenty of inspiration. We are cha challenging each other to make a lantern from Dollar Tree items, and I'm going to use these frames. So I'm going to start out by taking the backs, the paper off, and I start at the back because it's easier to grab a hold of. And I'm just going to remove the, well, it's paper plastic, whatever. So I'm going to remove the paper, leave the glass in, and I'm going to use this paint tool. I also could use a screwdriver, but this seems to be easier to use. And this is a, obviously a much loved item, so I'm going to keep keep everything that comes out because you just never know crafting what you might use and then I'm going to gently put these tabs back because they're going to hold the glass they're going to stay in what um, or they would fall out the glass would fall out that won't make a very good lantern so there they go so I'm going to jump over here and do the rest of them so set it aside go to the next one same situation. Pull the plastic off, turn over, take the guts out. Hey guys, I had a couple of mishaps and two of these tabs came out, so I'm just going to put run a little bit of glue right here, kind of hold that piece of glass in there, and I don't think that's going to make a bit of difference to the overall look, but I definitely, here's the other one. I don't know, just having a rough day today, I guess. Okay, so now we're going to start building our frame. So we're going to start out, we actually need two to start out with, and we're going to build this one on top of that one. So, and I'm going to put the, run the glue, it's down the long end, I'm only going to run the glue on the one that's down here. I'm not going to try to glue something that's, you know, out in my hand. It seems like a burn possibility, a little higher on the burn possibility. So here we go. Quick, quick, getting it done. Okay, so I'm going to hold it there for a minute and just let it dry. And don't worry about it being perfect, but you do want to try to line it up at the end so it'll sit, you know, pretty uh, level. So now that you have that, we want to put this one, we're going to sit it on that. And since this one is this way, we're going to sit this one this way. Y'all see what I mean? Like this one's there and now this one's going to be here. And look at that. It looks like it wants to go. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this one too and hold that glass in a little tighter. Okay. And you remember how I said, so I'm just going to make sure. So I'm going to sit it here. So I'm going to glue along the one that's actually right here. Okay, they must be digging um, the road up outside. I hear a lot of noise. As soon as you're going to start filming, the whole neighborhood starts getting antsy and it's got to start um, cutting grass or <laughs> weed whacking or something. Anyway, we're getting ready for Christmas a little bit early this year. Holding that one on there. So give it a minute. All right, so there we go. So now, since this one is here, this one, let's see, let's go, this one will go on top. So we're going to do one side, and then we'll do the other. So I'm going to put this glue along here. And this will just take a minute. There we go. And then we'll do the, oops, the other side. After this one's dried up a little bit, a little bit quirky. But that's okay. It can be done. I wanted to spray paint these. Take the glass out and spray paint them and do all this stuff to them. And I think I'm going to go back and get a few more mirrors. Well, four more. And go ahead and do that because I really want to do that. I'd like to do some that are kind of a copper or something. Okay, so now this one is my last one. And I am going to... Get a wee bit more glue just in case. I don't want to be left without enough glue. Okay. 
getting a little sloppy there. Sorry about that. So now I'm going to go here. I'm going to try to get some of that up with my paper towel, but I don't know if it'll work. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm decorating it. All right. Just kind of comes off. Not a big deal. All right. So, so far, so good. So, I am cutting a piece of wood to go over the top and a little piece of wood to sit on the bottom. So, from my scrap pile. So, I'll meet you back here in just a minute with that. So, y'all get to that point and we can get to the next step. Okay, guys. I wanted to show you that this is a just a regular board, a whole lot of nothing special from the from the uh, scrap pile. So is this, and this is my uh, handle. Thank you, Mike Atkins, for donating those to my project. And then I'm just going to sit this on top of here, and I'm going to kind of decide the placement of it. And I hope that I can just kind of see where I want to be. I think I'm going to just go ahead and glue it down. So. Um, so it kind of is a little more sturdy, and then I can fill it with some things. I, I got out some snow, and I don't even know if, what I'm going to use, but I might not even put anything but a candle in it. Who knows? All right, so let me let me get that glued down, and we'll get right on to it. Trying to get that placement just right. Well, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we have our little lid, and I'm just loving it already. So, okay, now I'd like to make um, a bow. And I do have some Dollar Tree ribbons that I, I got when I was looking for something. So there we go, and I like to use, um, what do you call those things? We call them pipe cleaners back in my day, but we're gonna, they call them chenille stems. All right, so I'm gonna start out with this chenille stem and I'm just gonna bend it in half like that. So I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna move this out of my way for a moment in half. I've got my little bird. I've got some other little things I might use too. So let's start out with our chenille stem. So we got there, and I just bend it in half because once I'm making this, I'm going to be making it with one hand. So it's already bent in half, so that'll work better for me. So I'm just going to cut my ribbons. So I'll get them all cut. Two, two of each um, color. So that would be a total of six, six cuts of ribbon. It'll only take you a few minutes. Oh, this is cute. I'll link where I purchased this so y'all can get the same ribbon if you if you would like it. That one is from the Dollar Tree, but I we looked um, I've gone to two different Dollar Trees looking for silver something that would go with the silver, and all I found was the silver. So I had to dig a little further to find some pretty ribbon. So hopefully y'all's Dollar Tree has more ribbon than mine. I don't know if they haven't put it all out yet or it's, um, they're running out of it. So hopefully they had just hadn't put it out yet. Now I don't know how this is gonna perform because it's not really a, like a ribbon. So we will find out if this is gonna do. And I think since it's so thin, that I better go ahead and put maybe some, I'll put a third one of that. I'll take it third one of Santa Claus. So I'm going to make my usual. I love to make this bow. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to find my about, let's say about six, about six inches down. The loop's about six inches down and then I'm going to squish it together like such. And each time I go to do, and I'm keeping the, this is the right side. There's the little tail on the back. And it's not that important on this, that one, but it'll be very important on this one. So then I kind of line these up with each other and find out. So I'm looking for my six inches. So I'm going to put it here and there's six. So they're about the same. They don't have, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, this thing is really stiff. 
So yeah, Mr. Really Stiff, and then we have Mr. Very Flimsy. So they're looking for about six inches, and then at about the five inch spot, we are squishing it. And you can see this is not gonna be a total cooperation there. So now we're gonna do our other red one. Oh, you know what, as a matter of fact, I think we'll do him since he is, Mr. Santa is three all together, sorry. So he's about six inches, so we're good. We'll see how he does, then you'll know. I know this stuff would be really pretty on a package, so definitely pick some up when you're in the Dollar Tree. And here's a little idea that I do sometimes is I just go ahead and I bend it over since there's wire in them and I leave them on the table, you know, my, on my mat there, my craft mat, until I pick them up. So that's just kind of a little bit um, designer, floral design trick. All right, so that's what we have so far. And it is a little crazy with this stuff, but that's okay. It's gonna work out great, guys. And whatever's left you can use for packages. I think they're gonna be beautiful on packages. Okay, so this is what we have, and this is our last one. And we are at just about there. And I'm gonna take my ribbon. I mean my ribbon, I'm sorry, my piece of pipe cleaner or pipe cleaner folded in half. And now you can see why it was so important to fold it prior. And then I want it to be tight as I possibly can manage it. This is coming out a little bit. Oy, oy, oy. That's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so there's we go. We're getting that. And then I'll fluff it and I'll attach it and then we'll see what, what else we're gonna add to it. So let's see how we're gonna attach it. That might help me on how I'm gonna fluff it. I'm gonna try to put it around the knob. That's why the knob's important. Oh boy, that was fun. Okay, like that. And then I wanna put the tails around. I'll be trimming the tails in just a sec. But anyway. All right, I'm just gonna go through really quick and just trim the edges of these ribbons to this shape. I'm gonna just do a diagonal. Sometimes I do the little um, call it snake tongue. I'm sure there's a an official name for it but here we go I'm just gonna quickly do this and then I'm gonna add some more um, fun to it with some uh, floral let's see what I have so we have that I'm gonna actually put it on here because sometimes I can tell better what I want if I actually see it put together so there and here's the decision too kind of fun. I don't know if y'all saw these at the Dollar Tree, but if your Dollar Tree has them, pick them up because look, they're going to be so cute and you can put them outside. I always worried about having something outside because I put these lanterns on my front porch. So this one is from the Walmart. It actually has a timer on it. So you'd have to physically go out there and turn it on and off, or you could just leave the timer on and it, you know, you come home and you'd be surprised. There it is. It's, it's working. You, and I think they have it in two different sizes. So that's the small one. Now, I really like the look of this candle. This candle actually has wax on it, but, you know, it's not the best for outside. You know, if you leave it outside and the sun gets through this glass, it could actually melt the, the wax. So that's not, I would say that's not the, probably your number one choice. I think this would be um, something like this. You don't have to worry about the kids or anything. I think it was $1.98 for the candle, so it is more than $2. I mean, more than a dollar, but it's less than two, so... I'd still say that's in the bargain category. So we have that, and I was gonna show you that I have some florals that I got from the Dollar Tree that I thought we'd try to work some of this in. I can either glue it on. I kind of liked him, but I didn't really know. So I have these balls on this one, and I thought I would use my D wall. These are my favorite. I'll put the link to where to buy these below. You're going to love this. It's Crafter's Dream. So I kind of like the idea of that. So y'all just, you know, decide for yourself. You know, what? just kind of move things around. I always tell my students that, you know, I don't know. I have to just kind of do it myself and see. And I'll tuck and move and fluff 
until I like how it looks. So I don't even know where it's going to be. I think I'm going to stop right there. I think I'm overthinking it and hopefully I don't come back tomorrow and add something. But with me, you never know. Okay, let me see if I can get it on there to stick a little bit. And then here, and just something to add a little more shine, you know, like that thing. Okay, so I'm going to say that's a wrap. And let me show you how I use it on that. Because I might put some stuff on the inside of it as soon as I take a look at it. Okay, this is a Dollar Tree, but it paid a dollar. It's from Target. And then I used my um, the little shopping thing they have. They have a new little app. And I got, I think, I don't know, if you get 5% off. Or what, what the is the thing on that? I'm not surely sure what the savings is, but there's definitely a savings, so you pay less. So it is less than a dollar. So I'm going to put these in here as well. I think I'm going to take him out. I think I'm going to stay with my silver. And then I also bought some white ones, so let's try those out. Same thing, a dollar. Because we do have silver, white and red, kind of our go-to colors on this one. So we just go right here. Let's see what happens if we put a put another white one in there. Hey guys, I'm finished with my project. It cost me four dollars in Dollar Tree frames and a few dollars for some uh, ribbon and a few dollars for some of these little uh, Christmas trees. So this is gonna be cute. Kids are gonna love it, adults too. And making these in different sizes or in the same size and then putting on risers. And I'll put the link to how to make a riser in the in the description below. It's super simple and you just set it with a riser so that they look like they're two different heights by just using these inexpensive frames. So this is gonna be so pretty on my front porch. So I'm gonna um, show you all some other ideas with it. So I'll be right back. Thanks for stopping by.